Welcome to UDK. In this tutorial, we will be creating a simple elevator that moves players and bots from floor to floor. Start by creating a new level based on any of the default map templates. And whenever opening a new level, it's good to click on the viewport options, show, reset to default to ensure that anything that may have been hidden comes back. Click on the cube in the middle, hit F4 to bring up its properties. Open Static Mesh Actor, Static Mesh Component, Primitive Component, Scale 3D, and change the X from 1 to 3. That will create a upper platform for our elevator to reach. Control Shift F brings up the Content Browser. Search by Static Mesh and type Armor Wall. This will provide the walls of our elevator shaft right click, add recent, add static mesh actor hold down alt and create a copy and right click on the copy, transform and mirror along the y-axis now when working with static mesh sometimes the grid needs to be smaller or taken off altogether down here 16 click on the arrow, change it to 4, allows finer control over where these mesh are. Highlight both by holding control to select multiples and right click group actors or hold down control G to create a group. and create another copy on the other side, holding down Alt and dragging. We now have the walls of our shaft. Control Shift F, type in panel, and grab the bridge panel. We'll put this at the bottom. This will serve as our actual elevator. Go to non-uniform scaling mode at the top and shorten it a little bit, hitting the spacebar to cycle through the various modes and give it a tiny bit of depth as well. Two more meshes, one the bridge panel a narrow one which will move to the top after we get it sized correctly that will serve to indicate to the players where they can stand in order to call the elevator back up and control shift F one last time twist wire will provide an indication of the mechanism by which this elevator operates. Okay, last thing to do is to change the uh, elevator itself to a uh, mover down to convert, convert to mover, and whenever anything is converted, collision has to be re-added, hit F4, go to collision, collision type, collide block all. Now it's time to add the trigger volume, which will kick off the Kismet sequence. Hold down control and with your left mouse button, drag the builder brush towards the shaft and resize it by hitting Alt X to go to the different views the wireframe views and Shift 2 or clicking on geometry mode allows to edit each individual vertice shift from local to world coordinate system if the arrows are diagonal and holding down control and Alt creates a bounding box which allows 
multiple vertices to be selected. Ensure that it is inset a tiny bit from the actual elevator itself so that it doesn't start before a player is fully on. And also ensure that the size of the trigger volume is high enough that any bot or player on it won't uh, pass beyond the trigger volume itself. Okay, with that in place, add a trigger volume down in the bottom left, add volume, trigger, trigger volume, click off the builder brush, hit B, and the green cube that results is the trigger volume. Now click on Kismet to start a new sequence. Right click, new event using trigger volume zero, touch. And beside that, we will add a matinee. Make sure that the uh, elevator itself is highlighted. Right click, new matinee. Double click on the matinee to open up the matinee editor and use the mouse wheel to roll out once you've clicked on the timeline itself to reduce the time of the animation to about a second and a half. Move the green arrow up to the full si length of the animation. Right click on the left to add a new empty group. Call it elevator. That connects the interp actor, the elevator, to the matinee node itself, and then right click on that group and add a new movement track, creating the first keyframe for the elevator. Now move the scrubber brush all the way to the right to the end of the animation and hit enter to create the second keyframe and move the elevator up to its final uh, location. Click the loop section to ensure that it's functioning as expected and once that is uh, where you want it collect the, connect the touch of the trigger volume to the play of the matinee now in order for this to trigger multiple times we have to change the uh, max trigger count of the trigger volume from 1 to 0 open the sequence event properties and change the max trigger count down to 0 so it will fire over and over again in this case when this elevator finishes when it completes, we simply want it to reverse and go back down. We can add a little delay uh, by right-clicking on the end node, the completed node, and set activate delay, and we'll set that to 1. Now give it a test to make sure everything is working as expected, and the elevator works. Okay, the final step is to add the appropriate path nodes for a bot to use this elevator. Control Shift F brings up the content browser, move to actor classes, open navigation, and there are two nodes we need. The lift center is the first, which goes in the middle of the elevator. Right click, add lift center here. Control Shift F again, back to actor classes, and click on lift exit. We'll need two of these, one for the bottom, one for the top. Right click just outside of the elevator, add lift exit here. Now this lift exit, when you hit F4, I bring up the properties. My lift center is the thing that needs to connect to the inner node. So lock the properties, highlight the lift center, and click on the green arrow to fill this with the appropriate node. Close that and make a copy of the lift exit, dragging it, dragging it up to the top outside of the uh, trigger volume, hit end to bring it down to the appropriate level, and add one more path node at the end of the upper walkway to ensure the bot can make it all the way. Now build paths and in order to allow us to add bots, we need to change this to the appropriate game type. Click on View, World Properties, open the game type, 
and changed both the default game type to UT Deathmatch and the game type for Pi Play and Editor to UT Deathmatch as well. With all of that, hit F8. Should now have a gun. Hit the tilde sign underneath Escape to bring up the console. Type in Add Bots 1. And the bot appears.